removed the body and present with the Lord. And that means when you're dying and you may have your family there, and you close those eyes, and I believe that you're going to open your eyes and you're going to see a pair of holy feet. I mean holy, righteous feet with holes. Amen. And you're not going to believe it. Here it is. Here's the one I've been waiting for. Because I have believe. You're going to look up. And you're going to see holy hands. Again, holy, righteous hands with holes. The only one that's marked in heaven, if we get a brand new body, the only scars are in heaven are the ones that he suffered and died for me and for you. And you have the nerve to say, I am good. You have the nerve to say, God, I'm in church. I'm just so happy. And yet the angels in heaven rejoice over a lost man that comes to Jesus. What we do, I go left, I go left, I go left, I go left. God and the angels want you to go right. And that right is by Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. The glory of God is not you. The glory of God is Jesus Christ. You can blood on your knees on stairs. You can blood on your arm. That's not the blood that will save your soul. Acts 20:28 20, says it is the blood of God. Even ask the Jehovah Witness, hey, Mr. Jehovah Witness, was it Jesus' blood? Yes, it is. As in Acts 28, says it's God's blood. God did it. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Paul said, you got to be careful with this. This is Jesus, Jesus that goes around in a, a circular track, and he can't do nothing for you. That's our underwear. But there's a Jesus today that can see you because we don't know when death is going to happen. Inside your body right now, maybe a little blood vessel ready to cut off the brain. And you may not die, you may go for a stroke, you'd be a vegetable for your life. And if you don't put your trust in things working in Jesus, you'll die and go to hell. But if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, now shall be saved. Saved from what? Hell. For he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath, oh, I wonder what that is. The wrath of God abides upon those that don't have the Son. No Jesus, no eternal life. To be known of Jesus is to be known of God. Death is coming and judgment is coming. And we don't know when death will happen. And if before you die, if you have put off Jesus, Maybe, you know, okay, I'm a preacher. I want Jesus, but I want to live a full life. You may not have a full life. You may not have this afternoon. Maybe it's what happened to you now, but you may not have it. You're not promised. But I'll tell you one thing if you're promised. If you're going to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that should be saved. That's a promise of God. And when you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, the promise is, I'll never leave you or forsake you. But when you reject Jesus, you'll be left by God. You'll be left alone in a prison called hell. And there's no visitation rights in hell. You'll be alone in, the, in hell without mercy, without grace, without God. Without friends. Without alcohol, without pardon. And yet God has promised us through Jesus a brand new life. A brand new body. A place of no more weeping, no more sorrow, no more tears. A place of 
place of perfectness. A place of holy. Can you imagine going to a place where you never have to think about what I'm going to say? And never have to apologize for what you say. I'm convinced of it. I'm a preacher. I get trouble for things I say. I won't ever have to apologize in heaven again. And that's only obtained through the mercy and grace of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ before you die. Because without it, it will be hell. Salvation can only be wrought through Jesus Christ. You're not safe without it. You have no hope without Jesus. For Titus 2.13 says Jesus is the blessed hope. Everyone tries to outdo the Bible. I'm good. The Bible says you're not good. The Bible says I hope. The Bible says the blessed hope is Jesus. You guys from the same church? No. Whoa. Lord brought us together. What are you, what are you preaching? Huh? What are you preaching? What is it? The same thing? Oh, yes. Yeah, 